So the word sali in Arabic, it it's, it's kind of it's a verb that depends on the thing that's being described. So for instance, if I say that ana usalli, I pray, yeah, that could mean I make dua, I pray in the sense Worship. that Muslims pray that they, they whatever. It could mean that I ask for supplication. So it has an array of meanings. When when it's replied, when it's applied to the, the angels, it has a different meaning. So in the, in the case of the angels, it means supplication. In the case of Allah, that when that same word is used, it means blessings, salutations, blessings and so on. And, and the evidence behind that, and the evidence, remember before we were talking about like how do we know what the Arabic language is and how can we prove that what I'm saying is true, for example, in Arabic language. So I said to you that we have to look at the pre-Islamic time. We also have to look at 300 years after Islam. So in other words, from because the Prophet died at about eight, 11 uh, AH, so about 300 AH. So when we look at that, we find that in the poetry that's used, the word salli, when it's applied to Allah, even in non-religious contexts, it, it means uh, praise and blessings. Blessings. When I say praise, I'm talking about praising. I'm not talking about praying. Okay, so. In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Yusallun, it means to pray. Have you got a um, verb called blessing in the first part of the verse? There's only one verb. So only the... one verb and there are two subjects. Correct. Yusallun, it means to pray. I've got an Arabic and a dictionary here. I've got it here. Yusallun, can you see? Yep, I can see it. What does it say here in the English? They pray. There you go. Can you also write for me if it wanted to say Allah bless or oh, sorry, praise? Hamd? Yeah. Different verb. It means he praised. You want to do it in the in the uh, plural? Yeah. Ahmedun. Okay. So that's so that's very very different than what we just saw. Mm. A different verb it's a different verb because it's a different meaning allah and his angels are praying upon the prophet the video we watched Dawatim was telling us mm -hmm. the verb changes mm -hmm. according to who is <coughs> practicing that action according to door of the world uh that is the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard um are you sure <laughs> if i say i speak i'm the doer right and then mm -hmm. i change that to hatun speaks that does that change the speaking to reading or writing? It's still the same verb. <laughs> Just because the doer is different doesn't mean the verb is different. I've got a grammar book here. Okay. And can you see the screen? Yes. Can you see the doer? Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate Arabic or Arabic 101. The doer is the fa'il. I've highlighted for you. What does it say? It just means whoever made the action happen. That same word, how yeah. can it change when it's applied to Allah? There's only one! Yeah, that's okay, one, one word has been applied to, to Allah and to, well, to yes, angels, Yusaluna. Yusaluna. It's the same, you said one word. Yeah. So when, it's, when that change happens, no, no, no. how can it change meaning? It's the same word. Right. That is only it's the same one word, word for both of them. The Arabic words in the Arabic language, like for example the word Yarqabu or the word Yusalli or other words, Amara, Amara, Ya'muru, which means to give, in, in its base form, means to give imperative command. It depends on the context in order for it to be explained. But That's we give you the context. No, no. So, so in other words, what I'm saying is that who, depending on who the fa'il is, because you have in Arabic language you have fa'il, fa'il, which is the doer. verb, and the fa'il, the fa'il is the one who is the doer. The word itself takes a different meaning. So that's my premise. My premise is in the Arabic language, and I can give you examples of that in the Quran. I can give you examples of that before the Quran. I can give you examples after the Quran. That one verb, depending on who the fa'il or the doer is, can change in meaning. Uh, it's a false premise, as we've seen from the grammar. Um, the doer has nothing to do with the verb. The verb doesn't change depending on who does it. He um, he makes the point about uh, yarghab. Um, uh, he says that Yarghaban uh, is being deceptive. The word Yarghab means to want or desire, but the uh, in the other one it's Yarghaban, which means to turn away from. It's two words together, not one. 
So uh, he's just using it because he knows that you don't, you wouldn't hear the difference because you're not Arabs. Um, but it again being deceptive. The, the God of the, that revealed this, didn't he know that it would be a, a point of confusion if he uses the same word to pray and worship? Remember, he he cares who he cares that he's the only one to be worshipped. Yeah. And he uses the same word of pray and worship to mm. apply to himself. I mean, that he should have avoided that completely and used a different, like I say, a different verb. The Arabic language is full of verbs. If, I mean, if it sounds like, it, for any even non-Arab speakers, if it sounds like nonsense and it smells <laughs> like nonsense, then it, it's nonsense. So, so give me the Islamic source yeah, yeah. that says this is Sununa, this word, yes. when it's used for Allah yes. and when it's used for the angels, yes. it's different. Okay, there's a hadith on it. Yeah, Sean, Sean, let's, let's get it out. Yeah, let's get so it out. The hadith in Bukhari. We go Bukhari. Yeah, then it's the yeah, yeah. 21st century. Yeah, so that's a good question. I've never ever seen you use a reference before, ever. Let's get the reference out. Yeah, cool. So Allah says, whoever. No, we want, we want a reference! We want a reference! No, we want a reference! 7,499 Bukhari, Bukhari hadith that, okay? So which one is this one? Which one? Okay, so so Bukhari, so give, give us the reference. Numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book number five, the Bukhari, numbers, numbers are different depending on the... Right, it's a good one, you know. Give it to Google, give it to Google, sir. No, 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 no. Just Google it out. See, Muhammad never ever gives reference. Let's go, Google. Are you going to give it to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give it to Google. The reference, I'm going to give you the hadith and then you can find it yourself. No, no, we want a reference. No, 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 no the hadith says, the hadith explains what the word salli means respect to Allah. It means a dhikru fil mala il a'la. A dhikru fil mala il a'la. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fil mala il a'la, which means that it is mentioning that person's name in a higher station. So in other words, it's a, a praising, not praying, but praising that person. That is a hadith. You should ask for that okay. reference. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, where, do you, where do I start with the lies? That hadith doesn't exist. <laughs> Are you sure? Um, the, he, the closest I could find to he said exactly, whoever prays upon the Prophet, Allah mentions him in a higher setting. Right? That's what he said. Yeah. And he said the the you know like with the angels. The closest I could find is this this hadith here. Okay. And, and all and all it <coughs> all it says is Allah it says uh, I am as my slave expects me to be, and I am with him when he remembers me. If he remembers me inwardly, I will remember him inwardly. And if he remembers me in an assembly, I will remember him in a better assembly i.e. the assembly of the angels. It's got nothing to do with praying upon the Prophet or um, sending s salutations to the Prophet or anything like that. Or d It doesn't explain the word praying or praising. Perfect. He, the, the guy made up <laughs> he made up a hadith on the spot, man. <laughs> that hadith, I went to the libraries, online libraries, uh, Arabic libraries for hadith. Yeah. I, I put in the keywords that he said. And all I got was zero results, zero results, zero yeah. results. I've never seen this in a debate. And uh, this approach of if you can't find a source, just make one up. This yeah, just... because we don't know Arabic, so he's going to make it up on the spot. Well, he said it's a it's a well known um, hadith. The bit about the higher assembly is well known. I've heard of that hadith, but it's just all about remembering Allah. It's got nothing to do with praying on Muhammad. What is he talking about? Like, I'm just incensed. It's it's ridiculous. He makes makes up. He takes the the, the the second half of the hadith that everyone knows, and then the the first part he makes up. He says whoever prays on the prophet. It doesn't say that. That doesn't exist. Prophet Muhammad Hajjah, peace be, peace be upon him, said, whoever prays upon the prophet, Allah mentions him in a higher setting. That doesn't exist. Oh, and uh, by the way, the numbers. Yeah, we have numbers. We yeah. Have Arabs are not like this backward civilization that, you know, oh, we don't have number, we're Arab. We have numbers. Arabs have numbers. <laughs> <laughs>
I have to be honest with you. You guys are non-Arab speakers. Why do you always hide behind the Arabs? You don't know about the Arabs. No problem. Are we not giving us? Okay, give me your Bukhari version. Okay, let me get it. I'm going to get it. He's going to get it. Alright. So we're going to fight about time. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever seen you. We're actually going to have a record, a broad award record. By the way, I'm broken. In speaking school, I'm going to say he's going to give us a reference. Is, I is, okay, no, but we'll yeah. give it to you. Wait, is wait. he David the prophet? So no, <laughs> Stop, okay. you're, you're desperate. And Why? Stop being racist. God, man. No. Honestly, I've watched that video. I've never seen so many lies done with such um, a, a blank, you know, a, a straight face in my life. <laughs> it's like I'm in the twilight zone. You know? Okay. So, can I just say th something? The Arabic language is so rich with verbs. I just showed you the one that to say praise. <laughs> Why couldn't Allah just, if he meant something else, give you another verb? I, I mean, I thought I thought the Quran is meant to be a miracle of the Arabic language. So, we've got the evidence whatsoever. the bottom line. We've got the evidence. And this is the leader of the Islamic narrative. When they're in a the corner, they don't have anything to say, but they know you guys are not Arab. So, oh, you're not Arab. You know, you don't understand and walk away. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to, the, the, these days are over. This is not going to work anymore.